Okay, in this tutorial we're going to take another look at the use of radians and we'll use it in this case to calculate the area of this little segment right here. So it's, you know, maybe a pie slice or something like that. And that becomes important. So if, say for instance, one of the previous lessons where we were calculating the volume of a cylinder or a cube and then we could calculate how much water we could fill in it. Well, in the same thing, you can now take different shapes like this and calculate the area here and then if you were to just take that area if I was in edit mode and had them all selected uh, those I see my lines are off but if I extruded that up into the Z then I would create a volume basically just multiplying the area times the height gives me a volume and then from there I could get how much liquid would be held into a shape like that. So these are powerful tools and it, it really comes down to knowing all about radians which we've learned before. So I'm going to point out a couple things right over here. This will be a fairly quick lesson. So I'll try, I'll try and draw my unit circle. You know drawing a unit circle with a mouse is kind of difficult but I'll try and be a little cleaner this time. Alright, it's a little bit better than the last lesson at least. Alright, there's my x-axis and my y-axis like this and so the formula for the area is the area is equal to one half theta and then r squared alright so basically one half times theta times the radius squared and in this case the, we'll, we'll stick with the same unit circle for now so we have a radius of one so one squared is equal to one all right, and then theta. Now theta in this case, same thing as before. This is going to be one point up this arc between here and here is going to be 1.57 radians up to this point. That's your angle of measure. And here's our pi over here. And then if you were to go all the way around the circle and calculate the whole circle, it'd be all the way around here. It'd be 6.28. Radians, and that's also. Let me see if I can make this brush a little bit smaller. That's also the same as two pi. And the reason that is, that means that's nothing more than taking the number two and you multiply it times the value of pi. So two po times three point one four is six point two eight radians, because your angle of measure in radians is going to be six point two eight, twice the value of pi, if you go all the way around the circle. So you can imagine this f formula looks kind of familiar for the area of a circle. So the area of a circle is uh, pi r squared. So that's for the area of a circle, all right. And this is area. This is an area of any segment. So pi r squared. We did this before to calculate the area of the circle like that but notice how this would be in this case if this is pi right here and if we use this formula to calculate the area of a circle of the circle instead of using this formula think about it we're saying theta is your angle in radians right here and in this case the angle is 1.57 radians but if we were to apply this to an entire circle this would be 6.28 radians because it's all the way around the circle our segment would essentially end up being a circle so the formula would be one half times six point two eight radians times r squared. But if you look at if you look at it, one half times six point two eight would be three point one four, and three point one four is the same as pi. And then suddenly your formula becomes pi r squared for a circle. So that's kind of a special case of this formula. So when you want this, calculate just the area of, uh, you know, a particular maybe you want to calculate an arc between here and here. You would find this angle in radians like this and then you could use this formula here. So in this case th for this little segment here th the area of this region in here is going to be one half times 1.57 times this radius of one squared. So one half times 1.57 radians is going to be uh, zero it's going to be 0 0.785 I know that. 0.785 and so and that's based and your area is going to be in whatever this is so if this happens to be in feet if you're measuring in feet that'd be one foot times one foot would be one square foot 
right? And that's where these values come into. And then times your times your one half of this is your 7.785, so it'd be 0.785 square feet. So your answer is 0.7 eight five square feet you have to make sure you put these units of measurement in they're absolutely critical I mean you know what if, if I ask you you know how far is it to the store and you tell me it's three well, I'm gonna go well, what three blocks three miles three yards I just don't know so the units of measurement are fundamentally important to virtually everything we do yeah, all right so 0.785 square feet is going to be the area of this circular arc segment with a radius of one foot. All right, well, that's it for now, and I'll see you in the next lesson.